Hi friends, welcome to Lekhya Varsha Academy placed in Vijayanagar, Bangalore. This is Manjunath Bhargi. In this video, we will be discussing problems and the concepts related to only one thing that is prime natural numbers. Of late, if you analyze different previous year question papers, questions have been appearing on this prime numbers. So, let us see prime numbers. What do you mean by prime numbers? Here, prime numbers are basically unbreakable numbers. You cannot break them into pieces. 10 can be broken into pieces, 5 into 2, right? But 5 you cannot break it, 3 you cannot break, 7 you cannot break. They are called unbreakable numbers. Point number 2 on prime numbers. 1 is not a prime number. Why it is not a prime number? Because it has two equal factors. It has two equal factors. That is the reason why one is not prime. And the prime numbers opposite word is composite numbers. Prime numbers opposite word composite numbers, right? Breakable, unbreakable, right? One is neither prime nor composite. This is the point to be noted. One is neither prime nor a composite. One is neither prime nor composite. What else? Two is the only even prime natural number. Two is the only even prime natural number. And the rest of them are all odd. You take randomly any prime number, it is an odd number, right? Except 2, okay? All prime numbers are odd but 2, right? So, what else on prime natural numbers? So, prime numbers, prime natural numbers start with 2, right? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 47, 43, yes 43 is also there, 47. So, prime numbers start with 2 and uh, these are the prime numbers up to 50. So, how to remember this? In the first 50, in the first 50, there are 15 prime. In the first 50, there are 15 prime numbers, right? And one more important thing. In the first in the first 50, 1 to 50, I said it is 15. Next 50, that is 51 to 100, there are 10. 15 plus 10, 25. So, 1 to 100, you will get to see 25 prime numbers, which are unbreakable numbers, right? And one more important thing, how to check, how do you check whether the given number is prime or not? How do you check? Assuming say for example, 157, is it prime? How do you check? First n list, the list, n list, the perfect squares, 1, 1 is a 1, 2, 2 is a 4, these are called perfect squares. Okay, this is a list of perfect squares. Check out for that perfect square which is nearby 157. So, this is nearer to this perfect square 169. 
157 is nearer to 169. This is a perfect square and its square root is 13. Square root is 13. Now, n list all the prime numbers up to 13. So, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. All these are prime numbers up to 13. You will have to check its divisibility only by these numbers. If these any of these numbers divide 157, then 157 is not a prime number, right? So, first let us check its divisibility by 2. 2 cannot divide 157, 3 cannot divide 157, 5 cannot divide 157, 7 cannot divide, 11 also cannot divide 157, 13 also cannot divide 157. Therefore, 157 is prime number. Okay. So, you do not have to check its divisibility by 17, 19. Okay. It goes, the list is a never ending list. Okay. This is how we can put a limit. This is a trick, this is a method. Right. And next important thing about prime numbers is you take randomly any prime number and divide it by 6. You will be left out with either plus 1 or minus 1 as the reminder. I will give an example. If you take say 17, 17 is a prime prime number. If you divide this by 6, 6 3 is a 18 minus 1, minus 1 is the reminder, right? If you take 37, 37 is also a prime number and if you divide this by 6, 6 6 is a 36 plus 1 is the reminder. So, you take randomly any prime number and if you divide it by 6, you will be left out with either plus 1 or minus 1 as the reminder. Assuming you are getting 2, 3 or 5 as the reminders, then declare that it is not prime. This is one more method to check whether the given number is a prime number or a composite number. right? Now, we will solve some problems which are related to these prime numbers and appeared in CSAT. Okay. So, I have selected only the problems which are related to prime numbers appeared in previous year question papers. So, this is one in that 14, 18 it is a problem on series, number series. 14, 18, 20, 24, 30, 32. Okay, which number will come next? Okay, first what you people will do? First you will check the difference. Okay, you do whatever you want. It will not be solved unless the concept of prime numbers comes to our mind. Okay, so these are prime numbers: two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen. 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, all these are prime numbers, right? Here, after 13, it is 14, after 17, it is 18, after 19, 20 will come, after 23, 24 will come, after 29, 30 will come, after 31, 32 will come. After 37, 38 will come and that is the final answer. So, it is indeed a problem on prime numbers. Just add 1 to the original prime numbers to get the series, right? So, this is everything about this problem. Moving on to the next one. Here is one more problem on number series related to prime numbers. Here where exactly in this problem people will get confused. So, what people will do here? First, they will check the difference 3, here the difference is 5, 
here it is 7, here it is not 9, that is the point. Okay, many of us will write 9 blindly. We will go with the flow 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, this is how it goes, right? But here it is not 9, it is 11. This is the turning point, okay? And the next, here it is 13. And these differences are giving us a series of prime numbers, okay? Prime numbers concept is here in the differences. So, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, after 13, the next prime number is not 15, it is composite, it is 17. So, 93 minus 17 gives us the final answer. 3 minus 13 minus 7, 9 minus 2, the final answer is 76. Okay. So, here the difference is a series of prime numbers, right? Moving on to the next one. How many, this also from CSAT, how many 5 digit prime numbers that can be formed by using all the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5? We are supposed to use all the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we are supposed to make 5 digit prime number. See, if you write randomly, let us say randomly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 only. This is also a 5 digit number and I have used all the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this cannot be a prime number. The reason being if you add all these, how much you will get? 5 plus 4, 9, 10, 12, 15. The sum of the digits in the number is 15 and the sum is divisible by 3. Therefore, the given number is also divisible by 3. Even if you interchange these digits, right? Always you will get the sum 15 and the sum 15 is always divisible by 3. Therefore, we can safely declare that it is not prime, meaning you cannot write even one 5 digited prime number using the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Therefore, the final answer is straight away 0. You cannot form even one 5 digited prime number. The reason being it is in fact a problem on permutations and combinations mixed with divisibility of numbers. You must know how to check whether the given number is divisible by 3 or not. Okay. Using that you can solve this problem. So, the final answer is 0 here since the sum will always give you 15 and 15 is divisible by 3 therefore, the number is not divisible by the number is divisible by 3 therefore, it is not prime. Okay. Moving on to the last one and this is not from CSAT, right? And uh, questions of this kind can be asked, okay? In how many ways can one 10,001 be written as the sum of two primes? If you add two prime natural numbers, you must get 10,001, right? 10,001 is 10,001 is an odd number. Do you agree with me? 10,001 is an odd number. Okay. If I add two odd numbers, if I add two odd numbers, I will always get an even number. I will always get an even number. After adding two odds, we will get an even number. But after adding, we must get an odd number. It only goes to say that one should be odd and one should be even. Only then the sum you can expect an odd number, right? 
and uh, we have already said all prime numbers are odd numbers, but 2, 2 is the only even prime number meaning 2 should be there, only then you can expect the sum an odd number, right. So, if 2 is fixed here because this is the only even prime natural number, we want both to be prime numbers. So, this is one prime number which is fixed, the other number should be what? 9,999, 9,999 plus 2 gives you how much? 10,001, right? So, this is a must only then you can expect ok. So, this is one uh, one prime number, but this is not a prime number. Therefore, the final answer is again 0. So, how in how many ways can 10001 be written as the sum of 2 primes? You cannot write it. The reason being if you take one prime number in the form of 2 and you are forced to take it, the reason being the sum should be an odd number and if you make this 2 fixed, the other number has to be 9999 which is not prime, therefore you cannot in how many different ways, in no way you can do that, the final answer is 0 here. This is, this kind of questions you can expect ok and uh, moving on to wish you all best of luck. I will solve one problem on best of luck. Let me solve one problem on best of luck for your exam 2023 CSAT and that is supposed to be the first hurdle right in your journey. 27 you are supposed to mark correctly out of a total of 80 questions. So, best of luck for the exam and uh, this best of luck I will be giving the codes from 0 to 9 in the same order ok. Then what will be the code for the word clue? What will be the code for the word clue ok. 0 to 9 let me give for B I will be giving 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. What will be the code for clue? C, where is C? Here is C. For C it is, for C it is 8 and for L, L is 6, here it is, L is 6. U, U is here 7 and uh, E, E is here 1. So, the final answer is friends 8, 6, 7, 1, ok. So, 0 to 9 are the codes for these letters, best of luck. What will be the code for the word clue? The final answer is 8, 6, 7, 1. So, wishing you best of luck for the exam. Let us close here. Thank you for watching and if you are not yet subscribe to my channel, do subscribe. See you in the next video with some more concepts. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.